Hello, everybody. This is Dr. David Jockers, and today we're talking about four reasons to use activated charcoal. And I know when I first learned about activated charcoal, I thought, why would you want to consume charcoal? It's, you know, something you burn. But when I really learned exactly what charcoal does and what, can it, what it can do for our body, I was absolutely amazed. In fact, you know, charcoal is basically like an earth in a sense, it's, a, it's an earth substance. You may have heard of things like diametaceous earth or um, bentonite clay. And we know that basically humans are the only species that does not intentionally consume dirt. So every other species, like my dog, goes outside and starts nibbling on grass and will actually stick its nose and mouth in the dirt and lick the dirt. Why is that? Because there's some sort of a healing compound in the dirt. I mean, we could talk about a number of different things, humic and fulvic acids. We could talk about um, dirt's ability to cleanse and detoxify the body. We could talk about the good bacteria that's in there, but the dog is drawn to it. And charcoal has, is, is a substance that has incredible potential to help cleanse our body and improve our health. And it's been used reportedly for over 3,000 years. So all ancient traditions, many ancient traditions, I should say, have used it. I know the Hindus uh, traditionally used it. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, he used that for anthrax and epilepsy in, in some of his writings. He talked about using that for people with seizures, um, people with anthrax. So infections, like, for example, in anthrax, as well as you know disorders that could be related to toxicity. So epilepsy or seizures. Could very much be related to toxicity, especially if somebody um, was around a lot of lead or mercury or something along those lines, that can definitely contribute to that. So we're going to go into more detail about how to use activated charcoal. So it should be a quick video, about 10 minutes or so, and we're going to really dive in on how to use it, why we want to use it, and uh, really the best source of it. So if you don't know me, my name is Dr. David Jockers. I'm a natural health doctor. I speak all around the country. Um, in organizations and churches. I also am um, in involved in a lot of online summits as well as I uh, have, have my own clinic, Exodus Health Center in Kennesaw, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta. You can see my beautiful family there, my wife, Angel, and my boys, David and Joshua, identical twins. And so let's jump into this health benefits of activated charcoal. Well, four keys, four reasons. Number one, reduces our toxic load. In fact, if you use about a gram of activated charcoal a day on a daily basis in about three months, you can reduce your toxic load anywhere from one third up to almost two thirds, 60%. So three months of using activated charcoal can significantly reduce your toxic load. And then just continuing to on, continue to use it, obviously continue to reduce that overall toxic load. Activated charcoal is a great thing to have at your house as well because just in case you were ever involved with something that could possibly poison your body or if your kids were, put charcoal in. I know my dog, dogs aren't supposed to eat chocolate, so our dog got into a chocolate bar and ate the chocolate bar. So what did we do? We took activated charcoal, we put it in water, and we had her drinking that. We also put it in her food, had her eating it, and we did that for literally a week and she didn't have any complications from the chocolate where normally the theobromide that's in the chocolate could cause heart arrhythmias in a dog and can lead to cardiac arrest. So basically the charcoal really helped in that case. If you were to overdose on ibuprofen or something along those lines, if you went to the hospital because you overdosed on some sort of a prescription or non-prescription drug, guess what they would do? They would do activated charcoal. Um, to help save your life. They do this every single day in the hospital. Also, the Songhua River in China in 2008 had a big chemical explosion and it poisoned the river. And that river provides the drinking water for over 10 million people. So the city was in incredible panic. So what did they do? They threw a whole bunch of charcoal, went to the hospital, got the charcoal, threw a whole bunch of charcoal into the water and the charcoal binded up, took out the chemical residue, the chemical toxins, and within a week, the water was drinkable again. And so literally saved this city in China. This is back in 2008. And so ultimately, 
charcoal is absolutely amazing. In fact, it can, it can actually take in over 100 times its own weight. Isn't that awesome? Just absolutely amazing. The inner surface area of charcoal, actually two grams of charcoal, which is really not a lot at all, can the, the inner surface will span a football field, right? Isn't that um, unbelievable, the actual inner surface? And so it's able to do something called adsorb, meaning that it gets around things like a sponge absorbs, meaning that a sponge will take a substance into itself, but the moment you squeeze it, what happens? The substance goes back out. So that's called absorbing with a B. Adsorbing means that you suck things in like a sponge, but then you bind and hold, and that's what charcoal does. So very powerful at reducing the toxic load, can treat gastrointestinal complications, particularly really good for binding up candida, parasites, bad bacteria, bacterial waste products. So really good for people with SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, people with candida overgrowth, parasites, definitely activated charcoal can be a lifesaver. If you're somebody that, for example, if you have uh, excessive gas when you consume certain foods, number one, probably should avoid those foods. But if you do consume them, follow it up by activated charcoal. Take it at 30 minutes to an hour later. Typically, you don't want to take charcoal with meals because it will also bind to the minerals and some of the nutrients within the meal. However, if you're eating food you really shouldn't be eating, then it will actually help to reduce any sort of food sensitivity or bad reaction from the food. So that would be, you know, obviously very beneficial in those particular cases. Also helps reduce inflammation. So charcoal does something that's called back diffusion. And this is a really powerful concept. I was just reading about this where charcoal has almost a magnetic type of um, effect on the body where even though it's going through the digestive system, there are blood vessels that also run in and you know, basically take blood to the digestive system, to the intestine, as well as away. And through this process of back diffusion, charcoal will actually help to pull heavy metals and pull other toxins towards it and get them in the gut for better expulsion, basically for, for excreting these things, getting them out of our system. So really good for that. Also helps to take out bad bile. So if we recycle and continue to use bad toxic bile, then we're going to have a lot of problems. Charcoal, normally our, our feces should be basically as we're pooping, we, that should eliminate bad bile. But if we're not consuming enough fiber or if we have um, problems with our gallbladder, a sluggish gallbladder, then what we're, we're going to have is a, a buildup of toxic bile, which could lead to uh, gallstones and all different types of problems. And so charcoal is really good for helping bind and get rid of that toxic bile. So good for reducing inflammation because toxic bile triggers inflammation. It also helps to lower cholesterol levels. Now, in general, I'm not a fan of lowering cholesterol levels because I believe that cholesterol is very, very important. However, if you are somebody that does have very high cholesterol levels, charcoal can be one of the best things for you. In fact, a study that was done, this is European Journal of Clinical Pharmaceuticals. This was back in, uh, in the 1980s, late 1980s. They, um, they actually had individuals taking eight grams of activated charcoal for three weeks. They also had them, another group take eight grams of cholestyramine, which is a cholesterol-lowering medication. Um, and they were taking these things for three weeks. What they found was that the, in the activated charcoal group had a 41% improvement in LDL cholesterol. So they had significant reduction, 29% improvement in total serum cholesterol levels. So it actually boosted the HDL, lowered the LDL, which is kind of the ideal pattern if you do have a, a greater than three to one LDL to HDL ratio. So if your LDL part count is more than three to one HDL, then taking this charcoal can help improve that ratio. The cholestyramine, which actually is a, is a great medication for somebody with mold toxicity, can really help, was more effective um, with, the L, with lowering LDL, but it also increased triglycerides. And triglycerides, if they're increased, that's gonna cause inflammation, insulin resistance. So the charcoal was actually the most effective thing that was used in this. So activated charcoal, great. 
um, helps to pull out mold just like the cholesterol so if you have mold toxicity I always put my clients with mold issues on activated charcoal and also on top of that will reduce cholesterol levels if they're out of balance so let's look at more at what charcoal does again between 500 and 2,000 square meters to the gram absolutely unbelievable of adsorbency capacity enough internal surface area to completely cover several football fields again that would be several grams would, would do that but uh, unbelievable it can also pull out ammonia gas and so I will see a lot of individuals particularly people with SIBO small intestinal bacterial overgrowth will produce a lot of gas and that can contribute to things like acid reflux obviously gas bloating abdominal cramping Activated charcoal could be a lifesaver in these cases. So I always use it in those cases. And look at this. This is, we talked about basically how they use charcoal in the hospital. When poison gets in our stomach, the charcoal will get in there and will help to grab and suck that up. Absorbs about 60% of the toxic substances that get into our system. So activated charcoal, very, very powerful. Again, aids digestion, treats food poisoning, prevents hangovers. You know, just like we're talking about with drugs, alcohol as well, it will help to pull out the alcohol out of our system to prevent hangovers. So if you're drinking alcohol, you know, definitely using activated charcoal will help to reduce the negative effects of it. Great for treating bites and stings. You can actually get activated charcoal, put it right on mosquito bites, spider bites, or I should say mosquito stings. Um, or bites and uh, spider bites, bee stings, these types of things. You put activated charcoal, you rub that right on. It's awesome for it. In fact, you can do like a, a, a little combination of coconut oil and activated charcoal, and that works great. Um, also great for teeth whitening. A lot of people will brush their teeth with activated charcoal and uh, works fantastic. And, and my wife actually works for a company. She has represents a company called Beauty Counter. And um, they have charcoal face masks. And so I, I use that and I'll do it once a week. I'll actually put charcoal on my face. Really good for preventing acne. Really good for drawing out toxins from your skin. So just amazing stuff, activated charcoal. And this is really the brand I use for consuming activated charcoal. It's the Bulletproof Upgraded Coconut Charcoal. So it's from Coconut Husks. So basically, you know, we know how beneficial coconut oil and coconut milk and all these coconut products are. So the husk is actually really good too. So what do they do? They burn the husk, they produce the charcoal, and they burn it without oxygen. And that actually is what creates the, the increased amount of pores in the charcoal um, to increase the surface area. So now it's made with the charcoal. Now the cleaning process is key because a lot of times it's acid washed, but they basically clean it without any sort of uh, toxic chemicals, which is very rare. Most charcoals that are on the market. If you were to just go to Amazon and buy any old charcoal, it's going to be basically uh, cleaned with petroleum and all different types of chemical toxins that you wouldn't want. So we're trying to reduce toxins, and so obviously we want to get the most pure form. And that's really what I found in my research is the bulletproof upgraded coconut charcoal. Um, we do sell this on drjockers.com, uh, so you can find it there on our store, and it's very inexpensive. 90 capsules, which basically two capsules equals one gram. Um, 90 capsules is $25 that we, we sell it for on our website. So, um, so very, very good. Uh, works amazing. And I typically recommend for people, if you're noticing that you're having food sensitivities after consuming something, good, good way to start is uh, start by taking uh, one capsule, one to two capsules. So basically 500 milligrams to a gram. And you can work up to two grams. For me personally, I use this activated charcoal. I typically use it three days a week. And I do it after my infrared sauna. So I have a sauna. I'll use my sauna. After my sauna, I do my charcoal because the sauna will help get everything. It's, the heat will uh, basically help kill off infections. It will really help get um, toxic bile out of my system, things like that. And I want the charcoal to get into my digestive system and help grab and pull that out. So that's how I typically use it. However, if I didn't have a sauna, I would probably continue to use it similarly where I would do it like three days a week doing a, a large dose, like two grams at night away from any other supplements or foods. Usually I'm doing it about three hours after I consume food or any other supplements. So that way it doesn't bind the supplements. I still got the benefit of the food um, and it helps pull the stuff out of my body. Now, again, if I ate food that wasn't healthy for me, 
then um, I would use activated charcoal. Like if I had, for example, a lot of alcohol, then using activated charcoal could be really beneficial to prevent hangover, prevent alcohol from damaging my, my body, my system. So if you were to eat, for example, if you go to a restaurant and you eat um, just any old chicken, so not so basically conventionally raised chicken or beef, really good idea to take activated charcoal so you get the pleasure of eating the food. However, the hormones, the antibiotics that are in there, the charcoal will help bind and pull those things out. So that's really what I would recommend. Really good thing to have on hand for your family, but also good to be traveling with. I always bring this when I'm traveling. If I am eating out, I'm always taking charcoal. Um, if I'm eating foods that really aren't healthy for me, conventionally raised animal products, definitely want to be taking charcoal. So anyways, with that being said, I think I went a little over how long I wanted to go, but uh, love you guys, bless you guys, and I hope to see you for a future training. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.